What is handy, YouTube? It is your boy, Jay, and today we'll be getting into the best at-home workouts young athletes and just people in general could do. Before I dive into the video, I appreciate you. You can hit my follow button on the Twitter so you can stay updated whenever I drop a video. If you don't got Twitter, you straight, man. Don't even trip. But don't forget to hit that like button, man. It helps the video out a lot, man. And let's get into it. Okay, so if you look like any three of these builds, man, you came to the right video. But on some real shit, though, if you look like this one right here, no no disrespect to any shit. I'm not even trying to flame y'all, for real. Just take two miles every single day, one to two miles every single day. Come back to this video until you, once, once you look like this one right here, similar to this one. Let's get, now, now let's really get into it. Okay, now what I will say, though, before I even start the video, though, is during the season that's when these all these workouts will be best to use because you're going to be getting constant motion just constant repetition it's just cardio and once you add these workouts on top of all the like the basketball football baseball whatever cardio you're doing in your sport you add these workouts on top man i'm dead serious you're gonna wake up one day a couple months go by you're gonna feel like spider-man you're gonna feel like you unlocked your powers and all type of stuff so with that being said man let's start with the first workout so the first workout i have y'all is i mentioned this in past videos uh calf raises calf raises is one of the most man i'm telling you this right now especially for you basketball players you track runners who are doing the the high jump since you're jumping every day just get 100 calf raises in every single day man yes the first time you do these bitches it's gonna feel like you yeah in the comments if you've done these before man tell me i'm lying man once you do these your first time it literally feels like Man, you don't even want to use your legs no more, man. The pain from these shits, do 100, 100 of these, the soreness is like, nah, that shit is different. But that shit, it's, it's easy pain, though. And since you're jumping, it, for those of you who are jumping every day, if you're not jumping every day, jump every single day. If you're doing calf raises for a reason. You're doing it to jump higher, be, be more explosive. So every single day, jump. And I'm telling you, I've literally seen 30-day improvement with calf raises. I'm not playing with my own eyes. I've seen my homeboy. He was a senior. He could, he could barely touch the rim, start doing calf raises every day. This dude practicing all types of different types of dunks. He he looked like he floating. He literally looked like he started floating. Like, in, like it's different. So, so for some people, it's going to work like that. Some people, it's just going to be a little bit different. But just do these throughout the season, throughout the year, every single day, every single night, or every single other day, depending on how you how you view your, like, I don't know how, I'm not no, I'm not a, a, a workout guy, guru, so I cannot tell you. This may, I don't know, like, if you're not supposed to overwork your muscles, if you're sore, if you, but I, I still do it every single day regardless. That's probably was my mistake. So, yeah, matter of fact, two days of rest every single day. I, I say this shit all the time. Get your two days of rest. Okay, so now on to the next one. The next one, man, now I ain't going to lie, 99% of these are free, but I'm just going to, like, I'm going to throw this one in there. Get you one of these forearm grippers, man. It's not even for just your forearm. It's for your hand grip. As a man... And just a human in general, you need to have, you want to have good, like good grip strength. Now, this is when I, when I told you, you're going to be feeling like Spider-Man. This is one of them ones that I'll have you looking at your hands different. Cause like once you have more like hand control and just control of just like you, you just as a man, you want to have like control of your like hands. Like, to, like I'm talking about strength. Like you want to be able to squeeze your fist hard as hell. Like you just want to, these are things you need to be able to do. Now on to the next one, man, the plank. Now the plank, this is when it gets more mental, I'll say. This is when workouts, planks, y'all, you could do one minute every day, two minutes, but I do recommend it two times or one time a week, dead set. Like, give it every single thing you got. You want to be shaking till you literally cannot do nothing. Like, shaking your fucking ass off. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Like, like, like a chicken. Like, literally. And, like, get, get one of those in because that will, like, it's, it's literally all about making your mind stronger than your body. Your body will be telling you, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Your brain will be, so your mind will be telling you, yo, your body cannot do it. Your body cannot do it. But you're going to have to say, fuck it. You're, you're going to have to tell your brain to literally just say, fuck it. Keep going. Just fuck it. Keep going. Because that's the, that's what I say the real benefit is of working out. It's not even the strength. It's just the mental pushing your, your body to its limits mentally. So your body has a new understanding for what it can and cannot do. When you're, when you're so used to not working out and just certain, just not, Pushing your body to, to its limits, your body thinks it can't do this. Oh, it can't do this. It can't do this. You even sometimes tell yourself, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Once you tell yourself you can't do something, your brain will literally put a barrier. So first of all, with all these workouts, I want you to know, do not tell yourself you cannot do something. Do every single workout you can. 
you can you can because then you will be able to do it actually when you say tell yourself you cannot it's gonna be it, you'll be sometimes you'll do it but it's just a barrier you you don't you don't want to have so tell yourself you can do it and like i said the mental barrier when it comes to planking and just pushing yourself to its limits your body's gonna have a new realization for what it can and cannot do you're you're probably so used to watching other athletes do all types of crazy shit you're like yo how the fuck is this dude doing this dog you could do it too stop putting your don't don't tell yourself how the fuck is he doing it just do it or push your body to its limits create new create a new body once you push your body to its limits you're going to be at a new set point you're going to be at a new at a new you're, damn near you're rebirthed and like in a way you're at a new you're you just got to keep getting past his limits keep getting past his limits all right off enough with the talking on to the next one so the next one i had in mind man was just either 100 push-ups every single night or or t push-ups you, you could you could throw in a dead set of t push-ups like two times a week just do 100 push-ups every single night i wouldn't even say 50 push-ups i'm dead ass talking about 100 dog 100 i ain't gonna lie push-ups dog a lot of people who go to the gym they want to look good they want to get their body right push-ups is one of them workouts dog you could just do this shit every single day as a cheat code you could do this shit every day 50 days and 50 days your body would look better than the dude who was going to the gym for 50 days straight i'm not even playing just bam fucking push-ups dog push-ups is like one of the biggest cheat code workouts it's like it's come on man it's, it's just it's come on like it's just self-explanatory and then do t push-ups dead set these don't even count like just do them until you physically like your body is shaking to like where you physically can't push yourself up no more t push-ups will get your motherfucking shit i'm telling you once y'all get to high school all of that shit man that bird chest shit go out the window, man. That open chest, punching your socking off your chest. I do not recommend y'all do this because people probably could have a heart attack off that shit. But like we saw, man, we saw you and your chest, man. Man, get your chest up, nigga. All of that shit, man. So, real talk, man. Get your chest right, man. These these push ups, these T push ups will get your ass motherfucking right. Knock them bitches out, man. Get them shits out the way. And okay, so now on to the next one, man. On to the next one, man. I'm going to throw in shadow boxing. Now, shadow boxing, man, this is just something, man, you just got to, you need to do this shit, man. You, you got to look right when you boxing. You got to look swaggy. You got to have the movement just in case people want to try you in public. You got to look like you really do this shit. No. One thing I can say that I really think that shadow boxing does help with, with, with though, is like really like just brain registering to your, like telling your body to do something. Like telling your, main, mainly your hands, like to tell your hands to do something. Like just fix it, like, makes that much that process much quicker like your brain is gonna like make your hands like, just react faster i don't know how to explain it but you know what i mean like once you get the hang of shadow boxing your brain is just it's gonna be so f natural and flowish that that you're gonna understand like yo these are my hands like i could do whatever like the rhythm becomes smoother everything just becomes so damn easy with your hands once you get like just a nice flow of shadow boxing man I threw shadow boxing in there. Get your confidence up, man. If you gotta have like when you when you nice with the hands, man, your confidence is gonna be right. That just improves your mental, all types of shit, man. Physically, that improves everything, man. Okay, so now for the next one, man. For the next one, man, I got I'm throwing this one in mainly because it it literally gets you taller. And these are the 3060s. So it's and it this it gets you taller, it builds your stamina, all types of shit. So it's a a 60 second jog, 30 second sprint. You dead sprinting with your whole life on the line, like you running from a tiger. And then when the thirty, when 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 the when, sixty, when the thirty seconds is over, you just jog, get your pace back, breathe, breathe, breathe slowly. This will build your stamina. It's like it, this shit, like it's like it filling up your balloon, your lungs, some type of shit, and it just closes them out, fills them up back in, close. It's just all type like this shit gets you right. And just sprinting in general, if you did not know that shit increases human growth hormone, so. Man, that's why a lot of these basketball players, man, they kid, they parents be short as hell, but they be tall because they be running them suicides fast as shit sometimes. I'll just get these motherfuckers in, man, while you had a chance and like shit. Maybe you could hit hit strike gold and shit. I do got a video on how to go taller, man. Might as well, might as well check that shit out while you at it. Last but not least, stretch, get good sleep, and get get recovery days and actual recovery days, not just days where you be like, nah, I don't feel like doing it today. This today starts my recovery day. Get in a routine and just get in your recovery day, getting right back on it. Remember that you're doing these workouts for something. You're doing it to become a stronger human, a better human. You you want you trying to you trying to be different. You trying to get become more elite. So just find that drive, 
and sh- this shit should be literally just a piece of cake and nothing like nothing at all it should just be some shit you do on the side while you just while you at home because there's nothing eventually man it's going to pay off so just find that motivation man other than that though that'll be it man stay safe man stay blessed and peace out